This is Andrea, and today I'm demonstrating how you can help your child, um, or as a teacher, you can help your student um, with writing using the iPad 2, as well as the refreshable Braille 18. Again, I have the refreshable Braille 18 here, and it is connected to my iPad 2 via Bluetooth. As a teacher, um, what I would simply do if I want my student to do a writing activity is I'm going to load up this feature called Notes. Over here on Notes, I'm simply going to highlight where I would like them to start, and then I'm going to activate the voiceover by using the triple click home. Triple click home is functional by hitting this small round key uh, right above your charger, actually, and I'm going to hit it three times quickly. One, two, three. Voiceover on. Landscape. And now on voiceover. To the right. Notes. Note. New line. Text field. Is editing. Now, VoiceOver states that it is now on, and it is now in the editing mode, which will allow your student to simply use the Braille display for um, writing. So I'm going to start here by going dot six and the letter I. Space, capital I. Space, Lyle, misspelled. Ooh, it tells me I misspelled it. I'm going to use the backspace key. The backspace key on the refreshable Braille display is the space bar and this key together. Bottom of E. L. Space, and I'm going to fill it in. Light. I like to space, go. To space, go. Period. Space. This enables me as a regular ed teacher to identify what the student is writing. It gives me a visual display even though the student or your child would be actually using the braille display here. Um, really good tool, helps me, um, would help you as well by um, being able to go ahead and um, do some corrections with your Paste. student. So let's say if I wanted to get rid of I'd the like word go, the I'm going to turn this off, one, two, three. Voice over off. Now the reason I've turned off voiceover as a regular ed teacher or as a parent is because I'm not sure of what the command would be to make it go back and fix something. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to move, you'll see if I move my finger around it'll bring up a nice little window that highlights and I can pick a word that I want it to get rid of. I'm going to say go is the word I want to get rid of and so I'm going to turn on voiceover. One, two, three. Voiceover on. Landscape. Home now, button to the right. Notes. Note. I like to go swimming. Now Text it's read. Field. Is editing. It's read the the um, sentence to me, and I'm going to say I don't want go. So I'm going to ask my student to please erase the word go by using their backspace key. G. And you'll notice that it's deleted. This is a really good feature for um, teachers and parents because not only are you able to see what the student would be writing, but you're able to turn off voiceover briefly using that triple click home so that you can help them by moving the cursor into the right position. Really good usable ter tool in terms of teachers and students who are learning together. Um, I, as the student, may not actually know all of the commands or the router commands to edit a document using voiceover, but my teachers can help me by turning off voiceover and turning it back on or rerouting my cursor. Just an example of how teachers and parents can help their children and or their students with their writing activities by using voiceover and a braille display.